It's time for the morning mindset. And of course, you can listen to this audio encouragement just five minutes any time of the day. It doesn't have to be in the morning, but I call it the morning mindset because I believe I've just learned from my hard earned experience as a 50 year old man that every morning I have the opportunity. And by morning, I mean when I wake up after sleeping overnight, I have the opportunity to intentionally, purposefully, with great determination, set my mind in a certain direction. If I don't take the time to do that, it's going to happen by default. I'm going to, by default, fall into whatever pattern of thinking is most uh, consistent for me or most natural for me. And I believe because we're all fallen human beings, that's going to be in a sinful direction. It's going to be in a selfish direction. It's going to be a direction that doesn't think about the well-being of others, but thinks mainly about my own well-being. Now, that leads us into the topic for today. Yesterday, I introduced this idea that each of us has not only the opportunity, but the responsibility to serve others as a, an example or a mentor. You might think of it as a role model. And that each of us actually plays that role in the lives of others around us. And I brought up that we're gonna be looking at 1 Thessalonians chapter one. And Paul says to the people in this town called Thessalonica, in verse six, he says, you became imitators of us and of the Lord, for you welcomed the message in the midst of severe suffering with the joy given by the Holy Spirit. And so you became a model to all the believers in Macedonia and Achaia. The Lord's message rang out from you, not only in Macedonia and Achaia, your faith in God has become known everywhere. Therefore, we do not need to say anything about it for they themselves report what kind of reception you gave us. They tell how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God and to wait for his son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who rescues us from the coming wrath. So do you see, there were actually two levels of role modeling that happened there. First was the example that Paul and his associates had when they first came to the town of Thessalonica. Paul says, you, you readers, you Thessalonians, you became imitators of us and of the Lord. So let's stop right there for a second. It is entirely appropriate and is not a proud or arrogant or haughty thing to think that there are others in your life who should become an imitator of you. Just let that settle for a minute. It's okay for you to think, I want others to model their lives after me, but Gosh, man, doesn't that require that we are seriously working on our own life? Yeah, absolutely. It requires that we are taking seriously the change that Jesus has brought about in our lives and our responsibility to progressively live it out with greater and greater effectiveness. Now, of course, the Holy Spirit is in us to help with that. And in fact, he's the one who does the work. We learn that in scripture as well. But it requires our willingness and our cooperation and even our eagerness to pursue that. And right here, I have to say, many of us as believers hear that kind of thing. We hear the kind of work it's going to be to be a role model or to become an example to others. And we bail right there. We, get, we just say, no, that's not for me. That's, that sounds like way too much work. Well, I'm here to challenge you right here at the end of this morning mindset that it's not an option for believers in Jesus Christ. It's a command. It's a responsibility. And tomorrow we're going to dig into that a little bit more because I think many of us need to think differently about that. This day can make a difference in the lives of others. And it's not about the weight of the responsibility. It's about the glory our God will receive and the fulfillment we will get out of being that example. Let's talk about it more tomorrow.